I have about four more of these at home. Different like shapes and sizes, but this is my favorite one because I think she looks really good in this one. This is huge in the carpool lane. This is huge. What's up, GQ? I'm Noah Beck, and these are my 10 essentials. All right. Sorry, Dixie, but this is my first true love. Growing up, soccer was my passion. Transitioning from wanting to be a soccer, football player to what I'm doing now. It was the hardest decision I've ever had to make, but opportunities were too good not to take, and I kind of just had to roll the dice, if you will, on my future. Wherever I go, this will always be in the trunk of my car, no matter what. I mean, I want to do a YouTube video. Take this to Santa Monica and just like pass it to people, or like be like, all right, me and you, 1v1. I think this one and the soccer ball kind of go hand in hand. Like. The soccer ball is really there for any reason. Like I could play street with that. I can go to an actual field. But like these, like determine. Like, all right, we plan for real. These are always in the trunk of my car as well. Always. I got these in Paris on my recent trip. And here in LA, fields are like scarce here. Like there's no fields. Like they're very like limited access here. Even if it's turf, like they have it locked up and everything. Like you can't just go play, which it's very hard to like get practice on your own. But in France total opposite. These fields, grass, turf, whatever it is, these fields are open to everyone. And I wanted to like take advantage of that. And I'm, that's been my goal since I was a kid to play soccer in Europe. Obviously the circumstances are a little different where I was there for a fashion brand. Got these cleats and I, and I told the brand, I was like, if we have time in the morning, I want to go kick a ball around. Like I just want to go play on one of these fields. And we did. Played a little 3v3 against some local French kids. Beat them, obviously. Soccer is kind of like my therapy. Have that time with the friends and just hang out, play sports like that. That's probably one of my favorite things to do, actually. <sighs> one of my essentials right here is my Dixie pillow. This was actually gifted to me by, uh, I'm pretty sure his name on Instagram is uh, The Pillow Guy. He reached out and asked if I wanted any pillows and I said, yes, make me a Dixie pillow. It's actually funny because Dixie and I both have like weird pieces of merch of each other. Like, I, I have no idea where she got it, but she has a dress filled with like pictures of me. She has like socks with like my name on it. She has like just random t-shirts saying like, I'm dating Noah Beck. It's a bit cringe, honestly, but it's also pretty cute. I think she just came to my room one day and just saw like, I have all these pillows positioned on my couch and it literally looks like I have a bunch of Dixies over. It literally, it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's just funny. And it's just like troll at this point, but yeah, there's, about four or five Dixies just sitting on my couch. When she's out of town, I'll cuddle up with this just as like a reminder. I really need a case for it, obviously, because my mic falls off, but uh, my vlog camera, everyone. Typically, like before I even did social media, when someone said like a vlog camera, I assumed like very easy, like a little tiny camera, and like some people use that. But this is my vlog camera. It's kind of a, it's a heavy duty one. Yeah, need this with me at all times in case something fun happens or in case I get an idea of just like, ooh, we should shoot this. Being a YouTuber, this kind of just represents like putting my life on the internet. If you're an OG or if you remember, if you, I mean, you don't even have to be, you can just go back into my feed. My first ever TikTok video was filmed in my sister's room. Usually you would use like a ring light or some kind of lighting source. I used my sister's laptop and I literally looked up white on Google, went to images, clicked on a white screen, zoomed in on it, and then turned the brightness all the way up. But it worked, I guess, and my first video did pretty well for me. Having zero followers, woke up to like 20,000 followers, so that was pretty cool. That video did like 100K. When I upgraded from my sister's laptop, I actually went in and got a flashlight from the kitchen and like I, I literally put a nail right here, a nail right here, and then rested the flashlight on it. So the flashlight was facing me on my wall. It almost looked too good. Like the lighting was almost too good where it was kind of like creepy. I'd like to say I've progressively gotten better in terms of like quality and like the production. But to this day, like I, I, I sometimes use flashlights. Yeah, this kind of represents just like hygiene, cologne. I like to smell good. I like to, this, I, I didn't bring deodorant, but obviously also deodorant. It's, yeah. This is a special cologne. So I was on a TikTok live once and someone commented like, what kind of cologne do you use? I, I think someone just wanted to know what kind of cologne I used. 
and I told them, I went to my bathroom and I literally showed them, I was like, I use like Invictus Pacarabone or Pacarabone, I'm not sure how you name it. And literally a week later, I get a package from Pacarabone and they sent me like four bottles of cologne, like different, like different scents from this collection. This one has my name engraved into it. Like I didn't sharpie this on or anything. Like this came like this. That was a cool moment. I was like, hmm. I'll start showing off other things on my lives too, you know, and just get little packages. It's probably one of my favorite compliments too. Is like when someone walks by and they're like, you smell good. I'm like, Next Noah Beck essential is just like nutrition. Take care of your body. Water is very important. I drink just around a gallon a day. I have this protein bar here. If you need like a quick meal replacement, if you miss a meal, still gotta get the calories in. Gotta have your protein bar with you at all times. So if you're with your friends and you guys haven't had like a meal in a while, your, your car stops middle of the freeway. Let's say you're just having car problems. They're hungry, they're starving, we're in the middle of nowhere. I got my gym bar, they don't. And like, if you think I'm sharing, I probably will, but that's beside the point. Like, if they had a gym bar, I wouldn't have to share. Big basketball guy, love basketball. It's fun to play with the friends. And I'm a huge Suns fan. Obviously, pretty rough ending to the season. I'm a big shoe guy, big, big uh, sneaker head, if you will. So I got my purple Kobe's. I saw a Booker wearing these. Like they looked really good with the jerseys, like the all black ones. Love basketball, it's super fun to play. And plus, playing pickup basketball with like three of your friends versus three other guys, like give you 30 minutes, you'll burn like, 800 to 1,000 calories, to be honest. Like, Basketball, I swear, just somehow you burn a crazy amount of calories if you're just always moving. I, obviously before Kobe passed, um, was a huge Kobe fan, still am. In terms of like his work ethic and his mentality, it's, it was truly like admirable the way he thought about the game. It's something, like even when I played soccer, it's some, he's someone that I kind of, I idolized. I love a good fitted cap. I think if I'm having a bad hair day, just throw this on. And this is obviously, Arizona Diamondbacks. Kind of hard to be a fan of them right now, not having the best season, but it is what it is. This actually has a cool story behind it because this was the hat that I wore in the MLB celeb game that I went to this year, and that was an amazing experience. There's usually probably one in my car. You guys probably think my car is like a mess, I promise you, because I just said everything's in my car. I promise you it's just in the trunk. Like I have like compartments in my trunk. I'm a very clean guy, I promise you that. Just a deck of cards. Cards are it. Definitely an essential. Yeah, this kind of just represents like all like games. I'm a big board game guy. I love strategy games. Catan, I love Risk. There's a game called Oh Hell. Does anyone know? Anyone heard of that? No? Okay. Game nights are one of my favorite things to do. It's so fun. I would take that over going out any day of the week. I love hanging out with friends, like fun, genuine people that you can just have a good time with. Don't think I, I like have game nights with the boys with Louis Vuitton playing cards. These were the first things I found. So yeah, don't come at me for that. I love a good black t-shirt. Like, I just feel like you can't go wrong. You can literally pair a black t-shirt with anything. A black t-shirt could be worn with jeans. It could be worn with black pants. It could be worn with cargo, like, Black t-shirt, like I love a good black t-shirt. If I, if I don't know what to wear, I'll throw on a black t-shirt and just match anything with it. It's casual, it could be nice, like you can go anywhere with that fit. All right, GQ, thank you guys so much for allowing me to share a little bit more about myself through my essentials. You guys know where to follow me, at Noah Beck on all my platforms.